Ciao familia, welcome to another YouTube video, welcome to my YouTube channel if you are new here, my name is Chiara and um, this video is going to be all about what helps me with my mental health and fitness in general. So I'm just going to get straight into it, let's not just waste any time. I've always been open with my mental health on Instagram as well. I always talk about how when I struggle. And it's just actually mad um, because I just <laughs> came up, I just literally, 15 minutes before turning up this camera, I just had a crying session. It's just one of these days today that I woke up with the wrong foot and everything is just going wrong. So I was literally so mad and angry and I just ended up <laughs> bursting in tears. Um, so yeah, this video is absolutely raw and honest and about what I do because I feel like I see so many videos, morning routines and where people are so zen and I did one in the past, ages ago. And yes, my routine was perfect. I literally would wake up, meditate and journal and sip my cup of coffee and read a book, yes. But that lasted for about a week. and. Let's face it, we're busy, we have so many things going on in our life, so we're not going to wake up at 5am and for those of the people that can manage to wake up at 5am in the morning to do their meditation, I absolutely admire you so much, but that's not me, I'm going to be brutal and honest about my mental health, I've struggled and I still struggle with it um, until today. Um, literally until like half an hour ago, I was just like breaking in tears. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, I'm just going to share with you what helped me and what helps me, okay? So, first thing first, I'm going to sit down actually because... So, I'm going to get into the whole, um, my routine of everything I do. I'm going to take you to the gym. I'm going to take you through some of the stuff that I eat. But before I do that, um, I want to show you some key things and some stuff that has helped me. Right, I'm being brutally honest here, okay? I've been suffering with anxiety, eating disorders. Um, stress, um, low self-esteem, uh, self-love problems, um, what's it called, of the, the, what's it called, um, body dysmorphia, um, binge eating attacks, I've, I have it all, okay, and I've, that's just the way it is, okay, I've been struggling with my mental health for a while, and I've been struggling with my mental health since I was 14. When I was 14 years old, <laughs> I was looking for, um, I've always been a proactive person, okay? So if I have a problem, I always try and look for a solution, okay? So I think it's a, a very good thing and I need to, and I do acknowledge that I have this good trait, okay? This positive trait. So when I was 14, I did acknowledge that I wasn't well. Um, I was bullied at school, I, I had an eating disorder, um, I was dealing with um, anorexia. Um, so at 14 years old, I wanted to be well, okay? I started with this. That was my first thing. Why am I feeling this way? Um, so the first thing that I did was actually going online because that was the only thing that I could do at the moment um, as, a, as that age, 14, 15 years old. I just went online and I started looking up for things that could help me with my self-esteem and um, with my anxiety, with my eating disorder. And I found this lovely woman that I still watch until now. So for 15, 10 years down the line. So I've been watching her for 10 years, something like that, because I'm 25 now. So this woman is called Teal Swan, and I don't, by the way, I'm not sponsoring anything in this video, right? Nothing at all. It's free of sponsorships, it's just me being real. I'm going, I said, I'm going to be brutally honest, okay? And this woman is one recommendation that I'm going to give people. Um, she does YouTube videos, so literally free, and that was the only thing that I had access up until that time. Um, then when I moved um, to the UK, um, and I kind of had to build my personality and my character ready to basically be here on my own because for those people that don't know, I moved to Manchester from Italy at 17 years old and I was on my own with no family, having no friends, knowing nothing, okay? And I was watching her videos as well. Right, okay, so I've been, so for all these years I've been watching her videos, she treats different topics, so if you're 
struggling with something, she would open a completely new world to you. Then down the line also had a therapist that she helped me as well. So that, that was, th those are the main key pillars of my mental health, okay? But then apart from that, I had to do work. So I bought all their books. I've got actually the other one in my bedroom that I'm reading at the moment. I've read these. Um, these are the books. Not recommending them, but I mean recommending them. It's not an ad, I don't know where she doesn't know me, like, you know, we don't work together, but they're still freaking good, these ones. It's by the same girl, um, Till Swan. She's a spiritual guide. And I also, this is in Italian, um, so probably not a lot of you will be able to, I don't know if there is a translation, but I'll put it on here. And it's basically the translation of the book, book is how to become a Buddha in five weeks. Um, honestly, these seem like like so cringy, this box, but I swear down, they treat so many different things that I feel like a lot of people struggle with on a daily basis, okay? I get one of these. Um, it's like an agenda, like nothing fancy to be fair. You can just get anything from Amazon. I just got it from Amazon and it's got like lips, lips, <laughs> wait, um, Literally, it's got like little self-love cues. Um, let me just show you. Like, it's really pretty. Um, and it's got so it helps you. So I, I, this is my third one. It's like an agenda for the like, for the year of your vision statement, your goals, what you want to achieve, and everything. Where I am now, where I'm going, where um, how to get there. So it's a little planner for your life. Okay what you need to do and then it's literally like all like an agenda okay so like i've been obviously using it so you can see it's like an agenda this is my third one that i use um because i've been getting this every year um and honestly with this it helps me keep myself organized and you think you think what does this have to do with the whole mental health obviously i'm running my own business so I feel like this really helps me keep organizing and keep, keep myself organized. But so what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna take you through my day and show you the things that really make me feel good. Um, one of the thing is, one of the things is food. Weird thing. So breakfast makes me happy just because I just wake up hungry. I'm telling you, I wake up hungry. So I don't, if I don't have my breakfast, I just, go insane <laughs> i don't really have much stuff left in the fridge let me just show you because i'm being like literally honest so forgive my um so it looks like i've got a lot but literally there's nothing edible here um i've got eggs i've got salmon i've got veggies fruits and that's it like you don't i don't really have proper lunch like my fridge is so messy i'm literally doing so uh, honest i can't believe i'm showing you this but i only have salmon and eggs which i'm gonna have as my pre-workout meal for lunch so that means i have to do have something different for breakfast so <laughs> we had to improvise sometimes don't we so i'm gonna have oh my god i can't believe it so you see how everything is going bad right like you're literally today you're witnessing this you see what happened there while I was shaking it, this open, so there is like a lot of all the sh the protein is down. I mean, like it's small little things, you know what I mean? It's nothing like crazy, but do you know what I mean? It's just stuff that really annoys you. Another thing that I do is while I do my breakfast, I like to listen to um to something on YouTube. So I'll just literally play on my phone um, some motivational speech. I love opera uh, normally or at, pod at a podcast. I'm not sure if I can play it now. I literally like You it. have followed her so. career. You read her magazine. She is one of the most admiring our speech. So let me just fast forward it to when she's talking. Here it is. Look at you. Look and at you. I'll just listen to her. I don't have my breakfast, but I don't know whether YouTube is going to copyright this, so I might turn it off for now. All the family in the house. Thank so I'm going to turn it off. As breakfast, I'm having cereals. I know, right? Shocking. But why not? Listen, 
There is nothing wrong with cereals or like chocolate or anything really. As long as you track it and you know what you're having. So let me do that. Um, and you get your calories. And the calories at the end of the day are still the same. You can have anything you like. Obviously, we appreciate that this is not a particularly nutritious breakfast, is it? I normally wouldn't have this, but since I ran out of everything, we'll have to do it. This is delicious, I don't mind. Um, I kind of feel bad when, now I'm just like, honestly, before I used, I never used to care about fruit and veggies, but now I'm kind of feeling guilty if I don't have any. So I might have a kiwi. Actually, I'm having milk, cereals, a protein shake, and a kiwi. Can we just like no? Don't don't copy me. <laughs> but uh, uh, by the way, oh oh almond. Oh I don't eat. Um, I don't eat. I don't drink um, milk. I can't milk anymore. But yeah, as you can see, this is the com most complete random breakfast. I wouldn't be surprised if I don't have a trip to the toilet after. But I've run out of stuff and I will go to do my food shop later on today because I don't have anything for dinner. I mean, I don't have anything left. I ate everything. Um, but yeah, as, as you can see, it's me being really honest with, with this. So I'm going to have my breakfast and then I'll sort myself out and I will um, do some work and I'll see you later. And honestly, my flat is really tiny, so if you see, like, it looks messy because everything is literally stuck together. It's like one little bedroom flat. But um, this, right, um, I suppose I'm also taking you through my day. Um, what I like to do, I like to be organised with my workload. As I said, I run my own business with my online coaching. Um, so I need, I have quite a busy and my content and obviously I need to make all the content for Instagram, YouTube and TikTok. So I have to, I have quite a busy schedule. So I like to organise everything and um, I have obviously my diary where I write my tasks but I like to plan everything out um, and have a, like a, a bit of a board. So I got myself this little one from Amazon as well. And then, literally, back in my office, look at my little setup that I've got. Um, got my breakfast here, and I actually built this myself um, because, funny fact, fun fact is that um, I went to a chiropractor and he said that my posture was really bad, um, <laughs> a shock, um, so I bought myself um, a little back support, a proper chair, like an office chair and also because your laptop obviously is really tiny isn't it and it's meant to be like on your uh, table but um, because it should be actually on your eye level so I basically used some boxes that I received, I bought myself a keyboard and a mouse so that I can keep a nice posture while I work because I work Probably on my laptop, I stay sat down 10 hours a day at least. So I'm um, doing work with my online coaching clients. I'm really busy with my content and editing everything, planning out. So emails and everything and meetings. Um, <laughs> literally, I'm always sat down and end up working mostly from home, like all of us really. So I recommend it. It's also like about taking care of yourself, isn't it? Your posture. Really busy at the moment, by the way, but I've got a few spots available if you wanted to join my online coaching service. Um, the link is below, um, so I'll be happy to have you. Um, make sure you inquire the link below if you want to join. Um, that being said, now, um, I'm not working. Hi, back for me, yes, so, um, <laughs> I've just done a little bit of work and then I've been off cooking now, um, I'm having the only thing I had left in the fridge. I have to go on a rescue food shop, by the way, after this, to, um, <laughs> to get some groceries and to get some actual food because 
I just feel terrible when I'm not having any vegetables at all. Well, you had, had that kiwi before, but yeah. Anyway, I was off doing some um, work with my clients, and I actually done a lot of check-ins with them. And look at how many beautiful clients, literally so many people transforming their body. Like I had this lovely client of mine. Um, get closer. Look at her stomach, focus on her stomach section. Look how nice she's looking. Um, she's only done this in two months, so she's literally lost her belly in two months. So guys, honestly, if you wanna get on my program, she's doing this, by the way, while I provide her a full calculated meal plan. She's not restricting any food. She's eating pasta, ice cream, chocolate, and all these things, but I'm providing a nutrition meal plan as well and calories calculated based on her ability to help her lose weight as well as the workout plan as well all personalized um online coaching is all personalized so she speaks to me literally every day <laughs> um then as well let me show you my clients speak to me on a daily basis asking me things and i actually some of them also send me videos and um, i was actually checking someone's form before so she sent me one of my clients sent me this video um, of her performing a squat so obviously I'll learn uh, so I can check her form and then what I normally do I record if they need um, if my clients need extra and then obviously if my clients need extra support I usually record a step-by-step -step video to send it back um, if they really need help on the form. So you can see um, the support that I give is quite um, specific to each person, it's very personal and one-to-one. -one. Anyway, um, so if you wanna so if you wanna join a link again in the description below and you can inquire about online coaching and get started with me. Um, anyway, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna eat this miserable <laughs> lunch and I'm ready to do pull today. Really excited for a pull session. So I'm gonna take you with me there. Um, exercise of course, helps me. I'm gonna know if it'll help as well. Mm. I'll see you again. So I always like to start my pull days with my heaviest and uh, hardest lifts just because then I'm not going to be strong enough. So I always start with some barbell rows and um, as you can see I try to maintain my spine neutral and bring um, the bar towards my belly button and squeeze at the top, okay? And um, this is a movement that I'm still, um, I always start with the barbell and then I tend to add more weight as I progress. Um, after this I did two more sets and increase more weight as well because I always start to um, with a light weight and then progressively increase like a pyramid set and oh my god this is a killer it's called 21s and it basically involves obviously it destroys your biceps is you start with doing half reps from the bottom um, doing bicep curls you will do seven reps and then once you finish, you do um, half reps from the top, um, like now, like I'm doing seven more. And then when you finish this seven, literally you can see that I'm not, I'm not having any rest. Um, and as soon as I finish these, you do full range of motion, like I'm doing now at seven. And here you can see that I'm struggling. It really, really hurts. So I always recommend picking a weight that is light because it will honestly burn. I'll do three sets of these. Um, literally the face of struggle. Look at me. <laughs> Now on to chin-ups. I should have done these at the beginning, but um, basically these little bars uh, where you practice, they were all taken. So um, you can see that I'm much weaker. As I said before, you always want to start with your hardest exercise. You can see that I'm really struggling in fact, um, because I left them after two main compounds. So I wasn't really that strong and only managed to do four, um, four sets of four basically, but better than nothing. And this is a really good accessory exercise that I do on the cable 
able to strengthen my lats um, and these um this exercise basically engages those muscles that you need for your chin-ups so really really good Got my little bird explorer backpack and now I'm just gonna head to a little shop to just get some food because literally I have no food left. Not see a home because probably it's a really tiny sh uh, it's a really tiny shop so I won't be able to uh, film in there. But yeah, see you home. I was just going to speak here and just choked from out and saliva. Anyway, typical me. Um, just came back from the shop and grabbed a few bits. This is a realistic food shop um, that I got. Um, there is a mixture of healthy stuff. I got my veggies, I got my treats, um, but I'm gonna give you a close up now. So let's start from this corner. Um, I actually recently got into this because of my boyfriend. He made me a nice roast dinner and he used this whole chicken, which is amazing because he made it um, in the evening and then we used the rest in the morning in a sandwich. So it was really good and convenient. So I'm going to try and make a roast dinner, although I'm not English, so I'm going to try my best. Um, I got some stuffing for this and some gravy as well and then some wedges because I cannot be bothered doing my own potatoes, okay? Uh, so I'm quite lazy. Then I got some chicken. I generally don't like the whole, um, the, the normal one. So I tried, I know it's not as healthy but hey ho, that's how my taste is like. Anyway, there's plenty of normal chicken here. Then got a single cream uh, pesto and these are like the sauces that I'll be making pasta dishes and everything with um, I got um, rice, basmati rice um, in terms of my protein sauces I've got prawns and um, minced meat for my um, enchiladas and then I'll make probably carbonara so I've got some pancetta and obviously that's the main source of protein but also other form, form of protein for me is the skier yogurt and some more Greek yogurt oat milk and then here we got the healthy um, part I already start eating these because they're so yummy then I got frozen peas because it's just, just easier to throw in and just take two minutes to make so my trick I recently got into mistrals I'm obsessed with this. My boyfriend also got me into this. Um, I literally devour, devour them every single time. So great. I usually have them um, for my leg day because it's when I spend the majority of my calories. But yeah, that's it. Um, I'm going to make some dinner, put these in the fridge and see you in a minute. Also for me, I'm going to end this video with some nice baking. Um, I'm literally just doing my favourite and my favourite bake, baked oats. Um, I'm just making a carrot cake baked oat alternative. Um, so it literally tastes like carrot cake, but obviously it's healthier and it's high in protein. So here's my carrots that I'm putting in. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna make this for tomorrow for breakfast. So literally taking you to my fridge because the camera decided to interrupt the recording while I was uh, making it. But yeah, this is the little um, carrot cake that I baked um, with the oats. It looked it looks really nice. But tomorrow, so basically, I put it in the fridge. And I'm gonna have it tomorrow. I'm gonna put some low cal and um, whipped cream and some cinnamon on top, and it's so yummy. It's one of my favorites. But anyway. I'll take you in the bathroom with me um, and that's a sort of for me it's also like a very important step I'm trying to put this so I've been recently introduced this skin routine because skincare routine because I've never used to do it and my friends literally told me off because I'm 25 now so I should just be doing some sort of skin routine anyway all I do I literally just wash my face and now I'm putting some retinol to my face, this is supposed to be really good um, to help you with aging. <laughs> um, 
but apparently you're supposed to, if you use retinol, you need to make sure that before you go out, um, either even if it's cloudy outside or even if it's not sunny, you need to wear um, sun cream um, because otherwise, um, basically the sun, um, even if it's cloudy, is still going to make you age basically. So always wear sun cream because that's the worst for aging. And then after that, I basically mix my moisturiser, you can use any, I just use the CeraVe, CeraVe, what's it called, I don't know how to pronounce this, this, um, and then I mix, okay, so this, this is the best, okay, I'm not sponsoring it uh, at all, um, Isle of Paradise Ultra Dark, I used to have the green bottle, which is medium, um, but this gives you like a natural gradual tan. And basically this is how I manage to look dark, otherwise I'll literally be pale as that thing, honestly. And that's why as well, I don't wear as much face makeup anymore. Because before I used to wear it because I just wanted to look a little bit tanned. But now since I have this great gradual tan, I don't feel like I need to anymore. And all I do, I just basically grab a little bit of... Um, moisturizer put it in the middle of my hand like that and then I would drop I would do literally like three drops drops mix it it's like a bit messy this step but honestly it's so worth it like, especially this area obviously I use face tan as well but yeah, so basically with this, very important, as soon as you finish, right, you don't have any more cream, wash your hands straight away, it was all go dark. And just for the rest of the evening, I'm just going to read a few pages, not too much, um, not too many, um, of this, um, of the same author that I was telling you um, at the beginning, Teal Swan. Um, this is called The Anatomy of Loneliness, but I know what you think, it's not what you think. Um, it actually explains why, for example, we act the way we do. Again, there's so much more into it, um, so I recommend, um, so I definitely recommend giving it a go. Um, and it helped me personally so much, but that being said, thank you so much for watching guys. Um, I'm going to start reading my book and good night <laughs> and don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you next time with another video